And if you're heading out for the holiday today, give yourself a whole lot of time as an increase in road traffic is expected this year, especially here in New England, which could mean delays and problems on local roads. Question is, what can we expect? Eyewitness News reporter Alex Soprato has the details from our mobile newsroom. Plenty of people are traveling and New England has seen the biggest spike in travel from last year across the United States, up about 9%. Americans are in drive this holiday. The majority, almost 90% of the 38 million Americans traveling are on the road. Most will travel 50 miles or more to get to that Thanksgiving meal. But Nick Channon flew from New Zealand, then drove from Boston to Providence to be with his son. You're on the move. Uh, very much on the move, yep. We'll stay here overnight, do we? Yeah, stay here tonight and then uh, tomorrow uh, we're off to Martha's, Martha's Vineyard. Here at TF Green, travel is up 10% over a normal day. I heading down to Florida, spend Thanksgiving with some uh, some family members. On the monitors, most flights are on time, and it's smooth sailing through security. It was on time. We checked in online uh, a while ago, so I think it's fine. I mean, the line doesn't look bad at all. Max Nigrosh is taking his girlfriend home to meet some family for the first time. Is this the first time? Actually, yes. Not his his extended family, yes. Okay. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel great. About 8% of travelers go by train or bus. From New York. I live in Brooklyn, New York, so I got off of work early and on my way. But no matter how you get there, the goal is to be with the ones you love. That's what it's all about, being with family or extended family. AAA says the increase in travelers shows the economy is on the rebound. With the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Alex DePrado, Eyewitness News.